The Masonic Temple is a hall in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It is located on the northwest corner of Davenport Road and Young Street. Topic. History Construction began November 2, 1916, when the contract was signed and approved by the Board of the Masonic Temple Company for the tearing down of an existing church and excavation. The Masonic ceremony of laying the cornerstone occurring November 17, 1917, with the first lodge meeting taking place on New Year's Day, 1918. At its peak, the Masonic Temple was home to 38 different Masonic bodies, 27 craft lodges, 6 chapters York Rite, 2 preceptories Knights Templar, 2 Scottish Rite bodies and a Donoram Council. The hall functioned as a ballroom in the 1930s and began to host rock acts in the late 1960s. In the years before its sale to CTV, the building housed live music clubs known as the Concert Hall, and earlier, in the late 1960s, 1960s, the Rock Pile, a sitting-on-the-floor-style concert venue that featured not only showcases for top local talent but also appearances by major international recording stars, including Toronto's first Led Zeppelin concert on February 2, 1969, during the band's inaugural North American tour. Although the location remained historically significant and was added to the City of Toronto Heritage Property Inventory in 1974, the building has changed hands a number of times. In 1997, it was threatened with demolition. A developer had planned a new high rise residential building marketed to Asians, solely to exploit its lucky. Address of 888 Young Street, it was designated under the Ontario Heritage Act in the same year. Also in the 1990s, the studio was the home of Open Mic with Mike Bullard, and was one of CTV Toronto's news bureaus. Also, notably, it has been rented as a rehearsal space by the Rolling Stones. From March 2006, the building became the broadcast home of the new MTV Canada and has hosted the Polaris Music Prize since 2009. The building's fate was once again placed under a cloud on November 2, 2012, when Bell Media announced the moving of MTV Canada Studio Production to 299 Queen Street, West and that the building would be sold, possibly for condominiums. Bell Media officially listed the property for sale on March 4, 2013. On June 17, 2013, the building was purchased by the InfoTech Research Group for $12.5 million. InfoTech announced that its plans for the building include staging an annual charity rock concert in the auditorium. In 2017, as part of the press for the Toronto Jazz Festival, it was announced that 888 Young Inc., operating as the concert hall, intended to re-establish itself as a premier Toronto event space, year-round, and open to the public. <laughs> List of live shows <laughs>